welcome to VetSim and VetSim Hong Kong. To facilitate your experience in online flying, we have created a set of instructional videos for you to follow along. In order to help you better to understand the video, Chinese subtitles will be provided. 欢迎大家嚟到 VetSim Hong Kong。为咗确保大家飞行嘅时候都能够熟习喺实时嘅网络里面飞行，我哋准备咗一连串嘅影片去同大家讲解一下 f a s t i n 飞行时常见嘅问题，包括空中管制主任嘅职位、出发前攞 clearance 嘅步骤、pushback、起飞之后联络唔同空中管制主任嘅程序。喺呢个 video 嘅后面，我亦都会 cover 做目视飞行同直升机运作嘅技巧。虽然以下嘅影片我哋主要都会用英文去解释，但系我哋都安排咗中文字幕，系令到大家对相关嘅资料更加容易理解。The Virtual Air Traffic Simulation Network (VATSIM) is currently the largest online aviation network in the world. With more than 20 years' experience in the flight simulation community. VATSIM supports over 100,000 virtual pilots and volunteer air traffic controllers globally. Live air traffic control services, combined with real-time traffic connected to the multiplayer network, VATSIM creates the most realistic virtual environment that simply cannot be replicated offline. As a part of VATSIM, VATSIM Hong Kong aims to share a passion for aviation. You are able to harness your experience to build up your skills and knowledge in the hobby. With the members ranging from real-world aviation professionals to hobbyists, desiring greater immersion in virtual aviation. The top-down principle is a concept unique to Vatim. In short, this enables the controller in the highest position to cover all stations underneath it within their airspace. Using the top-down principle allows our controllers to maximize the amount of pilots they interact with, and allows pilots to experience the full immersion with ATC at times when not every position is staffed by an individual air traffic controller. For example, if Hong Kong Tower is online with ground control and delivery or not, then the tower controller will effectively assume the responsibilities. Thus, on first contact, is who you as pilot should contact instead. Don't be surprised when this happens. It is a common occurrence due to the volunteer nature of Batsim. Not sure what delivery and ground control is? Not to worry. Let us explain. In the world of air traffic control, air spaces and ground movement areas are sectorized, or rather, split into small sections, just like a pizza. A simplified version of these responsibilities our controllers have are delivery. Ground, tower, departure, approach, and a route. Delivery controllers are the only controllers that do not control the movement of any aircraft, but are the most important as they are responsible for issuing clearances to the aircraft departing. The verified aircraft's flight plans are valid, and arranging departure time slots should there be a very high traffic scenario. Ground controllers control the maneuvering area, including taxiways and aprons, with the exception of the runway. They are responsible for startup clearances, taxi instructions, and maintaining aircraft sequencing as they make their way to the runway. In many places, tower controllers often control a small airspace, usually directly above the airport. They also control the runways, which includes that famous takeoff and landing clearances you will always hear over the radios worldwide. Departure and approach controllers control the lower airspace and the traffic departing and arriving the aerodromes within its airspace. And rock controllers monitor aircraft once they leave. Arrive or transit in the airspace, and each controller is assigned an airspace sector based on geography. Flights will be guided along their route, including transition, departure, and arrival flights. These controllers give aircraft instructions for adjusting their flight path to avoid collisions and coordinate with their neighboring airspace controllers. Connecting to that sim is easy. Simply design your departure airport and remember to load at the apron. Open the VATSIM Pilot Client for your simulator, and enter your credentials. Hit Connect, enter a call sign and an aircraft type you're flying. Then you're ready to interact with air traffic controllers and fellow simulator pilots on the network. Location of connection is of paramount importance. Refrain from connecting on the runway, on final, or anywhere you need a clearance to get to. Instead, connect on an apron. A gate or any safe parking spot. 
don't forget to put your engines off before you get any clearance. We have come to the end of the first chapter. Do you like it for our next video? We do hope that this has benefited you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.